I was visiting Bangladesh in December 2010 to start documenting Grameen's social business. While I was there, I learned Norwegian Public Television had aired a documentary on the Grameen Bank and Muhammad Yunus called Caught in Micro Debt. In the documentary, they present a woman, Noor Nahan, the daughter of Sophia Begum, who they say Professor Yunus has mentioned numerous times as an example of how a microloan from Grameen Bank could help somebody out of poverty. Indeed, Sophia Begum is mentioned in Yunus' books and was featured on American television. The Norwegian documentary claims that she died in deep poverty in 1998, and her daughter, Noor Nahar, testifies in this Norwegian documentary. I decided to look into this allegation, so I headed to Jober to find out what really happened to the infamous bamboo stool maker who inspired Eunice to begin lending. In 1989, the top-rated American news magazine, 60 Minutes, broadcast a story on Grameen Bank, and Sophia Begum is introduced on camera. Ultimately, she became the first Grameen borrower, but first she taught him some economics. Because she had no capital, she was forced to borrow from a local trader to buy raw materials. She then sold them back to him at a price he set. Her profit? Two cents a day. Two cents a day. That's what, that's what I could not accept. Why anybody should make only two cents for such a beautiful skill. Once in Jobra, we found Noor Nahar, who was in the Norwegian documentary film. Did she ever make stools, their mom? She used to buy from Bazaar town. She used to buy. But she didn't. And she used to buy. Sophia used to buy the mongols, earrings, earrings, and sell it in this community, village. You have to look at me. Okay, so did their mom ever make stools, take a loan to make stools? Never make any school, but only sell bungles. I was also surprised that she lived in a typical house since she stayed in the documentary that Eunice had broken his promise to provide a house to both her and her mother. Whose beautiful house is this? Uh, uh, this is Nunnar's house. Uh, this house is originally her belongs to her father. They are not physically and mentally allowed to go. Uh, she has some disease, she has some disease. So, And her mother, she told me, spent a lot of money because when her mother was alive, she has some mad head problem. She was totally unbalanced and, you know, uh, so, so. So they aren't allowed to work? Uh, they cannot work, they they said they are mentally, physically. Uh, why I will say mother to another mother? This is not our mother. This is not my mother. What happened to the bamboo stool maker from 60 Minutes? who inspired Dr. Yunus. Was she still alive? Had she done well? One of the first people he met was Sophia Kartu, maker of stools. I was confused by the different and interchangeable last names of Khartoum and Begum that Bangladeshis use, only to find out that the women generally don't have last names in the villages, and both Khartoum and Begum simply mean married village woman. It turns out Dr. Yunus used the name Sophia Begum in his writings to protect her identity, and her name is actually Chaba Khartoum.
Saying this is look at my picture. Look at my picture. They came to take my picture. <laughs> I think you have completed this. So photo. Sadhu ko ango gaje. Sadhu ko na. Ita ra tarha ko ta nindi nitiya. Haan, hamilo mane wagal diye. Dilisa to. 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 University I was really glad to meet Java Cartoon and see how well she had done from her own work helped along the way by Grameen Bank.